Hey everybody, I'm Sparky and welcome to Sparky's Grow Room. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to cap dial or calibrate your blue mat system so it will retain perfect moisture in a living soil raised bed. I hope you'll stick around. <laughs> Okay, so a blue mat system is comprised of carrots and an incoming water line that can be fed either from gravity or you can use a pressure regulator and step that down to 15 PSI um, off of, say, your household um, water system, your hose bib outside, um, and that will deliver water to your soil through various means. Um, with a blue mat system, a lot of people are turning towards their drip tape, which is a pretty amazing product. Now, they operate on the carrots, which are two parts right here. Essentially, you've got a, um, a plastic cylinder with a ceramic cone attached to the bottom, and I've got this completely filled with water, and it's been soaking in here for quite some time and you've got the cap. Now essentially when this is all assembled together, when you screw the cap on um, to the carrot, you have a valve. And as the moisture in the soil um, dries out, uh, essentially it draws moisture through this ceramic carrot or cone, which actuates a valve in the cap, and that's what turns on your water system. So this is a great way to just use, uh, in many cases, gravity to just automatically water your uh, your plants and keep nice even moisture level and when you've got that you're going to increase production and reduce plant stress now i'm going to show you a new way which is known as cap dialing uh, to get these things calibrated exactly where you want now my system feeds in from a uh, 12 gallon bucket that's elevated five feet above this the height of my soil and it feeds into this cap right here okay so Keeping this completely submerged and the uh, both sides of, of the valve completely wet, the valve has reached homeostasis, essentially being submerged. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to keep it completely submerged below the surface of the water. And I'm going to open this valve until I get a drips coming out of the end of the drip hose. Now, essentially, that would go and feed the drip line, in my case, um, um, a, a weeping drip hose, okay? So I'm gonna back that up. See, we've got lots of drips coming out right there. And I'm going to turn that back down so that, while, while keeping the cap submerged, so that I have just one drip hanging at the end of the drip tube. Now I realize that because of the camera angle, this might be a little bit hard for you to see, but it looks like right about there, Let's just give it a moment and see. Yep, I've got one hanging drip. Okay, now, to get it calibrated so that uh, we adjust this valve to water at the correct rate, which in living soil is going to be somewhere around 80 millibars, if I was in a pressurized system uh, that had a regulator on it dropping my uh, pressure down to 15 PSI, what I would do is I would tighten this valve again I'm going to keep it going to keep it submerged so that you can see but uh, I'm going to I would tighten it so that uh, it gets tightened two more triangles at this little notch right here and in a pressurized system with 15 psi that's going to set you up to be right about 80 millibars now the issue is is that my system is not uh, pressurized with a uh, reducer um, essentially I have a gravity fed system where my reservoir is um, above the level of my soil, about five feet. So that means I've got somewhere close to um, two pounds of pressure. So if I were to uh, tighten this up two more notches on this dial right here, then uh, that would probably be too dry. That would be somewhere around 120 millibars. So instead, I'm going to tighten it just uh, once I've got this hanging drip established right there, I'm going to tighten it up only one triangle. So I can see it's, it happens to be dead on the triangle right there. I'm going to make sure I don't have any air in the system. Okay. And I'm going to turn that, tighten it up exactly one triangle. Now with a gravity fed system, 
at um, about five feet of elevation above uh, my living soil bed. That ought to be about 50 millibars. And that's exactly what you need for good moisture retention. Okay, now keeping the carrot completely filled with water and the cap submerged under the surface, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to tighten that on. I'm gonna make sure it's good and snug. And now we have a completely sealed system. And as this carrot dries out, in this case, I believe this is, this is a nine inch carrot, as the soil nine inches down dries out enough and um, uh, drops below moisture level, the valve in here will open up and we will get water coming out that drip hose, which uh, then feeds my drip tape. Okay, and there you have it. I hope that uh, that is helpful information to you. And uh, please, if this was uh, useful, consider giving me a like and hitting the subscribe button down below. And also um, check back later for more information about uh, how to grow indoors in living soil. Thanks very much.